Welcome to Hot Math Skills. Build confidence from the roots up. This video explains the order of operations with radicals to help you understand why the radical sign is distributive over a product, but not over a sum. Clear up common mistakes and confusion in simplifying radical expressions. The order of operations that we use to simplify expressions is parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition, and subtraction. Now, when expressions involve radicals, what order should you follow? Let's explore it by simplifying these four radical expressions. Example 1. Find the square root of 9 plus 16. Because we can rewrite a radical as an exponent, we can apply the order of operations for exponents to radicals. Also, in this exponential form, you can clearly see parentheses around 9 and 16. That means the radical sign implies parentheses around the radicand, even though they're usually not shown. So, first, parentheses. 9 plus 16 equals 25. Second, the square root of 25 is 5. Example 2. Find the sum of the square root of 9 and 16. Unlike example 1, 9 and 16 are under separate radical signs. They stand alone so there are no parentheses like these in example 1. Let's go straight to the radicals. The square root of 9 is 3, plus the square root of 16, which is 4. That gives 7. Example 3. Find the square root of 9 times 16. Like example 1, the radical sign implies parentheses around the radicand. So, first, parentheses. 9 times 16 equals 144. Seconds. The square root of 144 is 12. Find the square root of 9 times the square root of 16, like example 2. Let's go straight to the radicals. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. Multiplying, it gives 12. Now, let's compare. 1 is not equal to 2, but 3 is equal to 4. To show you what this means in your math practice, I rewrite 9 as 3 squared and 16 as 4 squared, the square root of 9 as 3 and of 16 as 4. In general, the square root of a squared plus b squared is not equal to a plus b, but the square root of a squared times b squared is equal to a times b. So, remember, the square root sign is distributive over a product, but not over a sum. It's an extremely helpful rule. The video ends here. I hope it will be part of your long-term success in math. Thank you.